Now, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get CarPlay on your 2018 Toyota Camry. Now, I'm gonna join this. The only way you can even get this update is through your Toyota dealership, but I'm here to present to you a different way, a new way, revolutionary, and it saves you money, but if you do it wrong, it'll, it'll mess up some parts of your car. Specifically the infotainment system, but Entune's already messed up, so it's all right. Now I'm not saying go ahead and do this, but I'll put the link, and all you need to do is install it onto your computer. It works better on a Windows, trust me when I say that. Most shit works better on a Windows computer. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna install it onto your computer. It's through Google Drive. So you just install the file itself. It's 900 megabytes, but once again, if you have a Windows computer and a solid internet connection, you'll be fine. Um, so when you install it, it's gonna have two things, all right? So based on what model you have, I have the SE, you'll see it in a moment or two, but based on the model you have, you install the one accordingly. So this is Entune 3.0 Base Pioneer. So if you have the XSE, it'll say JBL somewhere in there. So if you have a regular SE, the only one you need to focus on is Entune 3.0 Base. So now that you got that shit rolling, you double click it and that right there is going to open up this which tells you what to do and i will be doing this once i get into my car what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take this file highlight both but do not drag it you copy it and you have to paste it onto your usb which i have going on right there now remember, when it's done, you have to eject the USB. Don't just pull it out or you're gonna mess up your USB. So once, I'll wait for this to download and then I'll be in my car. So we'll check right back onto, onto this. So next thing, when you get into your vehicle, your Camry, if you don't have one, it won't work. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's, self-explanatory but some people don't know so get your shit together no copyright for me uh we're gonna have the air conditioning on because it is hot as hell so you're gonna take your usb but before you do that you're gonna go to menu see how slow it is you're gonna go to setup and then you're gonna go to software update. And right when you do that, you're gonna put this, let's get this in, boom, it's in. Now it's blinking. So we're gonna go to software update. Now, it's gonna say new software was found. So you're gonna click update software now it's telling you what it's going to add so obviously we're good with this we agree personal data yeah Ob um i mean who the hell cares honestly because fuck off Entune. yes perfect i will be back when it is done all right so it's finished installing now Turn your engine off. Alright. We're gonna wait. And also for everyone asking, I've done absolutely everything in this car by myself. Everything. I know it like it's not as complicated as it seems. It's pretty simple. Um now. Oh, no way. Oh, I'm actually... No way. 
if I just did this for free when my Toyota dealership was like uh, 120 would be the required amount like really for real 120 come on you can do this for free why take your shit to a shop when you can do it yourself remember that I'm gonna wait when this shit's done all right the moment of truth let's see come on that looks promising that also looks promising I'm actually like I'm nervous because I don't know if it worked okay so we're gonna go to menu oh I did it for free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's get NBA going up on this. Oh, that just opened it on my. So I got it to work entirely, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm very happy about. Thank God. So, I'm going to run down what you need to do. So, first off, you're going to need you're going to need a USB. Second off, watch what I've did first in first in the video because that's the most crucial part, making sure you get it for the right car. This is a base SC model with the base Pioneer and tune. Um the screen goes in. It's not as high quality, but it's a it's a fucking screen we didn't have these things 10 years ago not even but once you do that you're gonna take your usb plug it into your car and go to settings well menu then settings then software update it will if you installed the right one it'll pop up there then it's gonna install a bunch of shit you just wait that's all you need to do when it tells you to take it out, just take it out. It may update it again, just so, because it's common. This is like, this is just us doing it. This isn't Toyota officially giving it to us. But it works like a charm. Um, I mean, I can go to, I can click maps. Or maybe it's because I'm recording. But, oh yeah, see, there we go. Yeah, I need to set everything up, but... It works. It works just like a charm. Thank you for watching, and yeah.